Okay, I started my model, my SketchUp model of my build of the most useless machine by designing and modeling a simple box that will house all the components, the servos, the batteries, electronics, and so forth. The box is going to be made out of quarter inch stock and the dimensions are going to be about five and three quarters long, three and a half wide and just under two and a half inches high. A unique feature of the useless machine box design is the lid is actually split in two pieces and hinged on either end. The smaller section is the section that the arm props up to shut the switch on. And the other section is what gives you access to all the electronics and the, the insides. To help the opening of the box to make it smooth, I decided that it should be cut at a 45 degree angle. One of the real cool features of SketchUp is you can go to the uh, Google Warehouse, which is a collection of thousands and thousands of models that people have um, uploaded. And I went over there to look for some toggle switch and the server motor models battery holder and I found some really good models that I was able to incorporate and save me a lot of time from generating my own. Um, <coughs> so all you have to do is is place the toggle switch model that you download into your model in an approximate place where you want it and there you go, you're done. Now just as I downloaded the toggle switch from the Google SketchUp warehouse I found a servo motor, a standard sized servo motor, and I placed it on the bottom of the lid. My plan is to have all the mechanical, electromechanical components mounted to the lid with just a pair of wires going down to the bottom of the box where the battery will be. This will minimize any cabling and flexing. Now, one of the more challenging tasks on this project was designing the the actuator arm and the geometry necessary for it to for the servo motor to spin the arm up, lift the lid, and close the switch. So I basically started off with a circle and ended up with about uh, 110 degrees worth of arc on the uh, curve and mounted it on the servo motor approximately where it would be and then ran it through a few um, angles angles to make sure that it would clear the box lid and reach the switch and have enough um, angle left to close the switch. I plan on building a little wooden motor mount uh, basically to house the motor um, because the motor has to overhang the lip of the lid just a little bit to get the geometry right. You can only really mount it on one side and I wanted a little um, enclosure to give it a little more support. Now the machine uses a tiny micro switch to actually turn the electronics off when the arm returns back home. And I designed a little bar to come off the motor mount enclosure that holds the micro switch in the perfect position to catch the arm when it swings back home. I've designed the electronic circuit um, that I'm going to build on a strip board. And I'm hoping it will fit on a board about two and a half inches by three inches so I can fit it under the lid and mount it um, to the lid. And now we can look in the side of the box and see how all the components are mounted including the battery. Everything seems to be compact. Um, you can swing the axis lid up and get full access to the batteries to change them. Um, there's adjustments on the circuit board for delay 
and how far the arm moves up and down. I suppose there's a little room in the small compartment for maybe staples or something. Um, so mechanically it looks all good. Um, I need to just go ahead and build the actual prototype. I'll leave off now by showing you the a complete animation of one cycle of the machine turning on, turning off. And uh, thank you for watching. And please follow my blog as I continue to develop this machine.